Cebu province is one of the country's top summer destinations. But even as COVID-19 restrictions ease, a boost in local tourism is not expected this season. Stanley Gehete looks into possible reasons. According to the Tourism Department, Cebu was a favorite place to visit in 2019. The province welcomed thousands of overnight travelers on a daily basis. But COVID-19 changed everything. I guess we're just all coming out of a pandemic and the impact of the pandemic has had a, a suppressing effect on demand for travel. Well, I won't say necessarily flock, but the numbers will gradually increase. And we expect to see a recovery in full by 2023, as opposed to what was forecasted before of 2024. Despite of the world now recovering from the pandemic and the Philippines reopening its doors to international travelers, there is no large influx of visitors in the province. Mactan Cebu International Airport recorded a daily turnout of about 43,000 passengers going in and out of Cebu prior to pandemic far from the current everyday count of around 13,000 passengers. We don't necessarily need to compete with other airports for traffic. Philippines as a destination offers things that many other competing countries don't have. The warmth and hospitality of the Filipino people, the fact that English is very widely spoken, which is a great factor for those who are international tourists arriving. One airline company says it's primarily focusing on domestic travel to help revive the economy and the tourism sector. We expect the aviation industry to recover initially with the domestic. We, we, we think that there's an underlying demand. I think we think traveling is a, is a habit. So our, our initial uh, objective is to get people back on, on planes, get used to, to flying again. Thus, we're intentionally keeping our, our fares very uh, attractive and competitive in order to, to stimulate uh, traffic. Travelers from Japan, Hong Kong and Korea are not expected to come in droves this year as they are still dealing with tight travel restrictions. The movement on fuel surcharge by the Civic Aeronautics Board depends on whether airline companies adopt it. Yung fuel surcharge, sinabi ko kung maaari, lumihis tayo dyan. Kasi ho, pag nag-fuel surcharge ka dyan, ipapasa sa pasahero yan. Uh, yun nga, di mapapataas mo na naman yung cost of travel. From Mactan Cebu, Stanley Gete, CNN Philippines.